Good afternoon, friends of Burnt River Ranch. So today I brought home a new gilt that we're going to add to our breeding herd. She's just a young uh, wiener piglet. Well, older than a wiener piglet. She's 13 weeks old, so she's well past the stage where she should be weaned. Um, but anyways, we're bringing her home to our breeding herd. So she's going to be introduced into the herd, um, into our breeding herd for fall. So hopefully she'll have piglets next spring is my goal. Anyways, I'm going to go and attempt to unload her out of the car. <laughs> I can't get the car all the way back here. My husband's not home. So I'm going to try to do this myself and try to get her into her pen. We built her this little quarantine pen out of uh, some hog panels and some posts that we had pounded last year in preparation to build a few more pig pens, which we haven't quite got done yet. But we were able to get enough of it built to make a small quarantine pen that she's going to stay in for a couple of weeks until we can introduce her to some other um, pigs of ours. So just so we can get her up to date on her deworming and vaccinations and all that before we introduce her to the rest of the herd. Because God forbid we introduce diseases into our herd. That would be terrible. It's always a fear of mine when we are adding new pigs on the farm. Anyways, let's go and get her unloaded and we'll see how this goes. Like I said, I can't get the car back here, obviously, because it's just warm enough out that it's muddy. I hate mud. I hate this part of the trail that leads back to the pig pens because it's always muddy. There's the new girl. So this little girl here is 13 weeks old. She is a purebred English large black pig. And we are excited to add this new breed to our homestead. Mm. Let's get her unloaded. She got her ear cut up a little bit. I'm not sure what happened there, but should heal up just fine. This is what I'm dealing with. Ugh, makes everything 40 million times harder. Okay, for some reason my camera cut off. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, you missed the, the part where I basically heaved the kennel over top of the pen with her in it. But she's in there now. So I'm gonna get her some food and water. 